he must live like we got the 18 band beside us for our coats. Everything happens early, dog. Between the hours of 3 a.m. and fucking 9 a.m. is when the world really exists. This is the show. You know yeah. what I mean? This is the fucking, this is the play. 3 a.m. to fucking whatever I just said. It's set design. So last week on the vlog, we discussed that we don't really eat breakfast together. We never have. And then on the way to the mountain, Ern stopped at a place called the Sasquatch or some shit and got me a breakfast sandwich. Damn. This is actually pretty fucking good. Cause you know, before shred, it's good to eat a little something, something. Light, fluffy, airy, little protein, little carbohydrates, a little fat, nice and balanced. 40, 40, 20 split most likely. You know what I'm saying? Macro nutrient. Today I'm like, yo, I'm fucking starving. Cause I've been shredding so much. Let's stop by the Sasquatch since you discovered that they have really good sandwiches. Yeah, absolutely no problem. In an effort to not give Aaron shit for everything that he does, I see it coming up and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say, don't forget to take his exit. I'm not gonna nag him. I'm just gonna leave him alone. What does Ern fucking do? I <laughs> passed the exit. But How? don't worry. I saw a sign that says two the brothers. Come and go? You saw a sign that says two brothers deli. It's 7:30 in the morning. No, it, look at if not they're Santiago's burritos. Ugh. In the back alley where they're loading shit up. Uh, look at this lady in the forklift staring at you. Hold on. This I'm lady gonna... is literally you're blocking this dude from doing his job. Move your car, Ern. I'm trying. My man is. I think they want you to back up. I'm Jesus trying. fucking Christ, homie. You are We're gonna fucking this dude, brothers. It is open. 229 feet. I am close to the world. Now we're here. You're just telling me to leave? Yeah, because I don't see a fucking deli and you've been I around this parking lot three times. It's gotta be on Minor Street here. I don't fucking know. Fucking there. On the goddamn side of the street. There it is. There you Best go, Best breakfast bud. sandwich. In breakfast, yoga, and lunch. Have a great fucking time. I might hit off some yoga real quick. Yeah. Teddy's hating, but I think we're gonna get a great breakfast sandwich. The official water. Can I have uh, two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches on, I don't know, a roll? Mm, do you have rolls? Oh, croissant. Oh, like that's great. Can we have uh, that two of those? Okay. What was the camera all about? Oh, I have, a, I have a YouTube channel. Well, don't put me in. Oh, okay, I won't. Yeah, like, why would you do that without my permission? First of all, I didn't see you. I was looking at the yoga room, so I... It's a public place, I'm, I'm allowed to film. Anyway, this is great content. She's walking around in there, she's wishing that somebody would fucking look at her yeah. with a camera. What's happened was, I think when she was- Why are you fucking yelling? I'm always yelling. How's the sandwich? Not me. So fucking 99 cent panini. We might as well start these food reviews now. No, they, they have an oven they cook it in. It looked all official the way they made it like an omelet, but then With they- the egg come out of a box? Let's see. I'm not filming balls. you. Check out my Instagram. My name's DirtyEarn12. Yeah. I wasn't filming your bathroom door as you walked in and out. <laughs> Tonight on Pervy Pop-Ups, Yoga Studios. Where's the sweat go? Go. I'm trying once I get off this pavement. Dumpling spy. Another weight. <laughs> yeah, the Fisker Karma. The Fisker Karma. The Fisker Karma. Got that solar power roof. I don't know if this lens is doing it justice. It's a different vibe in here today. <laughs> yeah. People are getting yelled at left and right. Wait, okay. We were getting yeah. yeah. so. Teddy's about to get thrown out. Mm. My manager's telling people at the door to wait. Some girl tried to order. He told her she needs okay. to wait an hour. Okay. <laughs> is that not recording? Now it's recorded. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Nice short day, huh? Yeah, cold fucking day. Shipping squad. So this box came in from Scruff, from Kith. Not even close to everything. Kith hasn't even shipped yet. Fucking drop was on month. What day? Saturday? What's the day? I don't know what day the drop was on, but they ain't shipped and we're in there shipping right now. All the Godzilla stuff from last night will ship today. Oh, this thing's whoa. This thing's way thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Pause. Like a real jacket. Cozy boys, what is up? I should've had this today. God damn. I mean, that is a nice ass jacket. All right, okay. Yellow pump is the jacket in the Well, that is a crazy piece of decoration. I don't know what that is. I mean, that is pretty much the same jacket though. 
The decorations are all like plastic. They like plastic. Kind of looks like the same coat. This is the same. It's funny how the buttons changed in weird ways. Like, and then the front buttons are covered compared to last year's. They're exposed, embroidered versus vinyl. Big difference, I guess, but not. So the Terex Hiker, Free Hiker? Terex Free Hiker. New model. Here it is. This knit, like right off the bat though, is super nice. Really nice. Like, I mean, oh, it's nice and padded in the heel too. So you have the kith lettering, which I really like you can't see it. Like, I, you can't really read it. First when I saw it, I was really just like, dude, I don't, zell oversized branding, I don't, you know, I get it for the ski vibes, but I don't want it on the shoe. And one thing I didn't even notice is that there's a black on black three stripes on the inside. So it's a hard ass shoe, like looking at it. And it's definitely got some soft material. This toe guard is kind of crazy. Like, straight up rubber. And crazy shoe. Let's see what's up. Let's take a look. Oh shit. I got ski socks on too still. Hold up. Wow, that's fucking nuts. Oh my go, dude. I'm trying to check out a shoe for the first time. Crazy. Can you go? Dude, the way these slide on is ridiculous. Like these are fucking so fucking comfortable, dude. My god. These are ridiculous. Bro. I ain't been this hype in a while. Yo, Alex. Yo, I gonna have this pie? We have a pie, sir. I'm just cutting it. Mm -hmm. I knew you were going to say something. I knew I wasn't going to be using the right. No, it would be easier to take it out. Well, grab it. Well, you're Susie Homemaker, I don't know what this shit is. We have a fucking pie apparatus device. Then why isn't it with the pie? Shipping on a Saturday. All y'all fat motherfuckers. <laughs> Didn't realize that this shit's too small. Damn, shots fired. Husky uh. boy section coming soon. Big and tall. Big and Ted. Oh, yeah, I just gave these to Earn. Omar fucking just went in. I'll take them. Well, they still work. Yeah. I had to use this as an excuse for a new tech review. They do play music, though. They're, music. They're headphones, aren't they? You're just like hunting, they you know, where you put on with the gun and silence out the tip. Ah, nice. It's my second, possibly third pair. First Damn, pair bro. was left in a hotel that they said they sent back, and they never sent them back. It's just not good. Google, see if I get my Fortnite mic connected to this. I'll yeah. never have to hear Brandy again. It saddens me that you go home and play Fortnite. You ever have, like, a friend? They're hiding something, and then later you find out, and everybody's like, damn. Yeah, it's like an athletic school special. You're always like, all right, bro, I gotta go, man. I gotta lie. I'm always like, man, I hope Earn's okay. Hope Earn's not overworked. I hope it wasn't too mean to Earn today. And then I realized you're just the home building fucking fake fortresses and throwing gifts at people. That's not true. Do your thing, homeboy. Still Dude. playing Fortnite. Yeah. Get it's not. It's not gonna happen. The Fortnite is over. You're not gonna get me into it. That's yeah, I'm just gonna start getting into it. This shit is over. The ship has sailed, sir. Anyway, I got new Sony headphones showing up today. Redemption. You weren't there for the last. Last you, missed, pie. you missed that excitement. Mm -hmm. I stealing all the mail from people's mailboxes. You can't have any more. <laughs> Sunday. I've been drawing all morning. And then you now Sans is here to cut my hair. What the fuck? Is a dab rig in there? What up? So how's it? I'm fucking tripping. I'm missing a dab rig all of a sudden. Well, I got to take you guys out all morning, so I'm very good. Christmas. Oh, Seriously, the clothing that I'm wearing right now is worth more than this car. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die in here, and everyone's gonna be like, "Why the fuck are you yeah. why was I in the fucking Solar?" That's what people are gonna come to conclusions of. Like, why is my man riding around in a 2000 technology fucking vehicle? I was like, when I get back from Tokyo, we're buying a fucking car. God damn it! Like, I'm gonna get a Tesla, man. I need to. Yeah. What? What's like 70 grand? Yeah, 62. Oh, really? Our insurance went down actually. Yeah, definitely like. 
feel like we're gonna have to do something. But then like you don't pay for gas, you don't pay for oil changes, oh, yeah. you don't do any gas at all. So, <laughs> so it's fully electric and it has a three hundred and thirty mile range, so and like if you went up to the mountains, uh -huh. you actually like gain miles on the way back because of like, the regenerated yeah. That's crazy. It's fucking stupid. You'll gain like fifty miles coming back from Breckenridge or some shit. Oh well, we have to go drive this thing around the block real quick. Yeah, for sure. You can drive it if you want. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah? You got a new Tesla for Christmas. Oh, what? 70 grand, but no Sick. gas. Sick! Congratulations! So, 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 so on, like, it, average, like, it's, like, three to five hundred dollars for, like, every 15,000 miles for, like, charging. Like, and you can charge it on your normal 120. I don't yeah. know. Maybe a weekday's better for that, though, but that's just my opinion. I might just go by myself. So, that's tomorrow. It's also a Sunday. Tomorrow's... Are car dealerships are open? Yes, they are. Junkyards might not be open on Sunday. Oh my god. You're such a dick. <laughs> Junkyard. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking haul that thing to the heap with my fucking new Tesla. Alright. A couple of things. I have gotten a haircut. Thank you, sons. And I also bought a fucking Tesla while I was getting that haircut. I haven't test driven this Tesla, but I've already agreed to purchase it, I guess. Sort of. Going. Like the accelerator goes, but when you stop, you'll start braking automatically. Okay. So it's like regenerating braking, so you don't have to like actually push the brake all the way. Yeah, you just let off the gas and it fucking it stops. Breaks. Yeah. So then, damn, you, you drive one of those so, people that do that shit, it's over with. Oh, yeah. Like there's, it's gonna be like. Oh. So maintenance is just way cheaper. Yeah, yeah, maintenance is very minimal. You put washer fluid, like windshield washer fluid in there and let's rotate the tires it. and yeah. get new tires. That's what's up. That shit's crazy though. Like, how, But is it always gonna be that drastic? Oh, uh, you can actually change that. Yeah, like tweak how yeah. it breaks. Cause it breaks pretty quick. I mean, I like yeah. it, but Alex. So that regen, that the regenerating braking will actually like charge your battery as well too. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, it's all kinetic. Yeah, That's cool. exactly. It's really fucking smart. So you can punch it too a little bit. Let's just say if you go over here, you can use the auto drive, autopilot. Pretty much anywhere that you have like solid lines, you okay. know, like you can actually see the lines is the best for autopilot and everything. Really. It's funny because it kind of just teaches you to. Um, take your foot off the gas just slower. Exactly. Because I'm so used to just, I just pull my foot off again. Because it's like such a drastic stop once you pull your foot off. And so if I tried to pull out in front of somebody, oh, it would be able to just no, stop. No, you're, oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Try. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got insurance. It's testing. Days, <laughs> vlog. We're fucking shit up. My boy so, size just got a new car. So that, you can just do the speed. So now you don't have to push like the gas at all. You can let I go of the gas field. cruise control. <laughs> I don't need to hit the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. So right. when you get close, oh, it'll stop. Oh, shit. We stopping, son. Yeah. Steering wheel, click it down twice, and then it's autopilot. Click so what down twice? This twice, the steering gauge, yeah. Like drive? Yeah, just do it down twice. And now you don't have to now stick it up. You can chill. Damn, that's what's up. It'll do this no matter where there's, and I don't need yeah. to fuck with nothing no matter what no. these people are doing. This is no. ridiculous. And like you can see, like it reads all yeah, the cars. It's like the wobbly it. of the lines. Yeah. Dog, this is lit. I don't have to yell at my girlfriend anymore. <laughs> I'm getting this car no matter what, dog. I don't have to be like, yo, chill, yo, stop, yo, yo, yo. I can sit here and be like, listen, let me tell you about how much I want to talk to you about movies, or I want to talk to you about how pretty you are, or whatever the <laughs> fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? This is perfect. This is how life should be enjoyed. And so eventually, like, you'll have to put your hands on the wheel. Oh, yeah, because you have to check in and make yeah, sure you're not so asleep. Yeah, if you hold it, or I kind of, like, just kind of pull on okay. it. Okay. Hope that kind of disengages it. Oh, so now you have to re- uh, oh, boy. I see, because it wants you to keep your hands on the wheel at all times. Just mm -hmm. like for, yeah. That's what's up. And it'll take off when everybody else takes off. Yep. And then, bro. We live in the future. Touch is the future, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Someone wrote, I hike, you do not believe you. So I'm not even texting and driving right now, really, technically. Uh, technically, you might be, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get, like, little stupid shit, like, whoopee cushions and... <laughs> <laughs> you go down, go to Mars, be driving on Mars. Oh, shit! <laughs> Dude, this shit is fucking sick. So it'll, it'll change to the speed limit and everything. Okay. And then if you want like certain car lengths, you just move that left and right and it'll show like how many car lengths. Oh, uh, okay. Fuck yeah, dog. Yeah, this is dope. 
we ain't even going nowhere. I'm just like having fun driving. Exactly. That's, what, that's what we do. We just fucking Denver. drive. I never yeah. fucking go to Denver. This is kind of a weird one, but Santa mode. Santa mode. So I turned it into fucking. Obviously, that we have to figure out how to cruise. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it. So that's how you can do it. You know you're the man. Why does it change? I make that turn. So you'll myself. actually make the turn, okay. but. If you're on like the interstate and all that, it has like solid lines through the turn, mm -hmm. then it'll turn for you. Gotcha. But like obviously if you're taking this turn, it doesn't have any lines, you know? Yeah. When I let go of the gas pedal and it brakes automatically, mm -hmm. does that also put on the brake lights? So we've actually been meaning to test that out and we haven't. Because we think it doesn't act. Yeah, and like if you wanted to change that driving, and you can turn it so now like you let it off oh yeah that's not normal. so much yeah, yeah. that's pretty normal what's, what's up? up and you have chill and standard yeah accelerates so obviously like and then if you put in a destination it'll like pretty much drive you to your destination you just gotta acknowledge like when you're turning and stuff yeah that's cool watch we'll throw it a little bit give it a little gas float it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just scared because it's a neighborhood and it's, like, and it's quiet. Car, yeah. Where's the GoGo -Go gadget camera so I can see around this corner? The last thing I want to do is crash your new fucking car. <laughs> Shit would be good for the vlog, but hey, we got insurance. It's not good for me. God damn, we're going fast, but we're not. <laughs> Only 65. <laughs> it feels like we're going 9,000. She was like, my fucking 1,200. This shit is crazy, son. I'm ready to go. I'm ready for a world tour in my fucking Tesla. They better give me on the approval shit. Stop playing with me. I never wanted to buy a car so bad in my life. It's fucking nuts, right? Yeah. Yeah, I told Diddy I was gonna pick him up in a Tesla for prison, so. Oh, yeah. One could be down, I guess. Yes. Uh, <laughs> shit scared the fuck out. I forgot about putting it I on the Yeah, I put it on the turn signal. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy how short you can stop with this stop sign. Yes. Like I'm so used to braking like so early, and you can literally fucking wait till like you take your foot off the gas like almost at the sign, and it'll, it'll fucking still basically like, yeah. stop. I start braking here normally. Yep. This shit's made for Alex. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bitch doesn't break for shit. God damn. That was only 50 miles an hour. In Mexico. Guadalajara. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the reverse is kind of hard to get used to. <laughs> Torque to it, boy. Look, snap that neck back. First, I gotta take a dab. Today's fucking crazy, dog. I just bought a fucking car. I think. I don't really know. So, it's kind of a troll, but it's not really a troll. I did buy it, I did put the payment down, and I have been freaking out, like, every time Alex gets in that car, every time I get in that car, the dogs get in that car, I am just, like, all of nerves. I don't fucking like it. I don't like being in cars because how unsafe everything feels. I'm gonna be gone for a couple of months. Alex is gonna be driving the fucking car around. She's gonna be going up to the mountains. Like, I just don't feel safe. I've been, you guys know, I've been all about self driving. $12,000 tax credit, man. Like, it makes most sense. Today was literally the last day for me to put in for the tax credit, so I just like jumped on it. I literally copped a fucking Tesla online today while I was getting my hair cut. I really don't know, like I can't officially say I have it. I did order an all black one, like black on black, Model 3. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see, if they approve it, I'm gonna get it. I don't know why they wouldn't, it's just my credit goes up and down and is all crazy and some things I get approved for and some things I don't. I never know why. Aside from the car thing, which we'll figure out over the next little bit, uh, last night went out to dinner with Alex's parents, went and copped everybody some steaks and some chickens at Hominem Town. It's a really low-key restaurant that's really actually pretty good, but I don't know if it's gonna be around that much longer because every time I go there, it's empty. But they do have really good food. These headphones, these Sonys that came in yesterday, are fucking amazing. These crush the Bose. I don't think I had the newest Bose, but these crush them. Comfort-wise, sound-wise, Feature-wise, comfort-wise, comfort-wise, comfort-wise. Sound is insane. Noise canceling is insane. I listened, I had these on all night last night listening to this shit. And normally, my ears actually get fatigued with noise canceling headphones. Any of you who've ever mixed music, your ears get tired. Your ears are a muscle, so your ears can get really, really tired. Noise canceling, normally I 
my ears are concentrating on the muffle. It kind of gives me a headache. This is like really light. You don't notice it. You can change the amount of noise canceling. You put them on, you do this right here. Mutes the music enough so if someone's like, yo dog, you need some weed? You're like, yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, let me smoke. Definitely love them already. Super hype. Sony, somebody needs to sponsor me, dog. Like, I'm not after the corporate money, but goddamn, son. Tesla, Sony, Apple, Adidas. We could build something. Build something great. I'm gonna take a dab on that note. <laughs> Might as well have me, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to have somebody else smokes weed on the low. He's gonna get fired for smoking weed or crack behind the scenes. At least I'm smoking my crack out loud in the front door. It's not crack, by the way, for those of you that don't know. I'm getting ready for Tokyo. Like, dude, what if I do the dumbest shit to myself? Who buys a fucking, tries to buy a car a week before they go to Japan? Ugh. Um, I have a shoe sale coming. I have a clothing sale coming. I haven't gotten really anywhere with it. There's actually just a pile of shoes. It's kind of like the first cut, but I haven't even gone through it. It's a lot. And I still have a ton of shoes. Like, this is still the walls. But all that is potential. And I'm still going. There's just so many shoes. And there's just shoes that keep coming, you know? More shoes come out, more shoes go away. The dealer called me and was like, hey, are you gonna figure out financing for this today? Uh, I thought we had already figured this out, bro. Um, but anyway, so like they deny my shit, which doesn't make any sense, but my only op, the only reason I'm doing this is because there's a $12,000 tax credit. If it doesn't go through today, I don't even care. Like, I want a Tesla really bad, but I'm not gonna like lose my shit over it either. What I am gonna do though, is if my bank doesn't give me any money, I'm switching banks. Cause I put so much money to the bank this year that it's just insane for anyone to not give me a loan. Like at this point in the game, it's just fucking stupid for anyone not to be giving me a loan. A couple years ago, sure, but things have definitely changed now, so. Motherfuckers can suck my dick. But this is how I spent most of my morning. Welcome to Wells Fargo. For online info. Shouldn't be talking to any finance manager at all because I'm emailing the dude from Tesla and he's like, yeah, he's like, you were denied. I'm like, I was denied for no reason. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. My credit score is like 760. Yeah. My fucking, I have, have money in the seven, bank. I have enough money in the bank to, call, to fucking buy the car. Is it? Yeah. Hello? Hi, is Theodore available? This is Theodore. You're telling me if I come down there with a check for ten thousand dollars, you're not gonna give me a car, yeah. like, and so I can get a tax credit? I was like, even so, you think Elon would agree with that? I mean, really? Like, do you? Because yeah. that's the way people treat my company. Something yeah. happens, and you're someone's like, what would Teddy think? Yeah, like, what would Teddy think? And I'd, I'd say the same thing. If someone was like, "Yo, man, in friends and family, I don't get twenty. I'm, my twenty dollars doesn't come in for another two days, man. I really don't want to miss out. I've done that how many times? Yeah. Really? Like, as a business owner, like, I bet you if I called Elon and I was like, "Hey, this is what's going on." Hey, here's how much money I made this year. Here's how much money I'm projected to make next year. He'd be like, give him a fucking car. You yes. know what I mean? But the fact that there's all this fucking bureaucratic no, bullshit surrounding everything, the shit that I don't like. I that's why I smoke weed and say, fuck you to everything. Take this camera, the fucking batteries, and I'm not even mad about it, because I'm going to Japan. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Here's some batteries for you, boy. And we're, fi we're filming. I'll tell them in the credit union. We're joining. We're filming this whole shit, so shut the fuck up. That's straight winter, bro. Yeah, I know. Um. What's he doing? He's doing on feet out there. It's fucking freezing. I like hearing the old music. <coughs> the, some of that old Teddy shit. Like, it's, oh, it's yeah. dude, some like, like, I barely remember. Why are you wearing those glasses? <laughs> dude, some of it's like prolific. I know some of it. I'm like, damn, I don't even remember how hot this was. Like, in this beat. Some of it was in. really bad, but some of it was Yeah. Really sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, buggy. Yeah, this was like, I hit it from the back as you pour your fucking decaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this hey, boogie got me feeling right this morning. You're like a fucking divorced fucking single mother and motherfucking bitch ass who stays on Facebook spreading just fucking quotes all day, like powerful quotes. That's you right now, that's your spirit animal. A fucking mean mom. Mean what you say, say what you mean. Don't believe everything Did you mean. Oh my God, that's great. Dude, it's a blizzard out here. It is a fucking straight up blizzard right now. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting a Tesla today. Yeah, and uh, it may not work out. That would be lit though, take the Tesla up and smoke right away. Right. Like, Elon, wanna test this thing or what? Yeah. Let's go, bitch. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to fucking come back from Japan with a whole bunch of cash. But so, 
Why is this so he has to well Fargo? Is this a troll? Did you just not put in the right place? No, I put in the credit union. Now nothing's coming up. No, we're at Wells Fargo. I mean, you just took us to Wells Fargo. <sighs> what the fuck? Well, stop driving. What I are am, you doing? Wait, what the over. fuck? You're driving in the snow and texting with two hands. You no, just did I'll, that on camera. Hold on. Well, you don't have to put it on <laughs> I don't have to put it on me. You know I'm going to. Anglewood, 0.7 miles from here. Yep, you're a psychopath. <laughs> it's on Hampton now. You just put in Wells Fargo and drove the wrong bank. I don't anyway, know how. I do. You typed in the wrong things. You're talking about two banks and you're like, oh, Wells Fargo. That's possible. It's possible. Highly likely as well. But my last Google search is that, so I don't understand. Wow. Alright, anyway. Anyway. So the two hoodies with the two embroidered, one is the front. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, that's terrifying that you think like that. Any fucking way. Before you have me painted as just an asshole all day long. Moving on to You Are Your Enemy, we're gonna drop a logo shirt that is just oldie. You've arrived. Is that it? Actually, I'll turn it to the slot. Maybe it's that back building. <laughs> I'm just gonna do donuts in this fucking parking lot. That's what just hit me back. Say what? And they were able to obtain an offer to finance thirty thousand. <laughs> no, now you don't want to pull your money out of my No, I'm not still. I'm still. <laughs> yeah. Right, we're going. We just spent what twenty minutes in the bank, <laughs> and then they're like, we're opening an account at the <laughs> credit union, and they're like, is this your correct address on your license? And I'm like, nope. And they're like, oh, we need proof of your address. And now we got to go back and get it. Crazy out here. Too. It's a crazy vlog, dog. We got snow. We're trying to buy a Tesla. We got banks talking just shit. Just don't even know how much we're snow this shit is. You show the snow, dog. It's just not, this ain't nothing. This is a dusting. Dusting. I spread the blood like mustard. Trust it. Let's stop at Rico's for Rico's. that $3 meatball it's sub they got. $3 tummy ache. All on the last day of the year. That's how we do. Tonight, who knows where I'll be going. Who knows, dog? We might be taking a Tesla up the mountain. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's I gotta... Auto drive. Brandy, I gotta go out tonight, you know. I gotta... Oh, oh it, you're it, a, it is are you serious? serious? <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> are you fucking <laughs> joking me right now? You're going out tonight? So... Are not, you fucking... I'm said I'm gonna get mad today, but I might get mad about this. This is a shit Brett, show. It's an amateur night, I bro. Know. Nobody so, goes out I, on dude, New Year's Eve. you don't... Listen. What is wrong? I, that was not in y'all's vows. That was not in your vows. That's why I'd be throwing that shit out left and right if I was married. But that wasn't in your vows. Yo, your vows are the list of motherfucking demands. Like a hostage situation. It should have been in the yeah. vows. Hostage situation demands. I like, will not bitch. celebrate Halloween yeah, like, or New Year's he, Eve. Or even in hers, like, I can't wait to, s to celebrate all the New Year's from... That one in there. I enjoy your fucking stupidity and your goofy <laughs> ass shit. So you goofy ass, you'd be like, I ain't going to New Year's Eve. Well, what are y'all gonna do, a kiss at midnight? Nah, You're not even gonna dude, be there. You're I gonna be in the bathroom listen, tonight. You're gonna get wasted, Brandon. You're gonna regret no, no, I decision. won't get wasted. You're gonna regret See, this fucking decision. I'm Brandon. not getting wasted, get wasted tonight. It's on safe, because I think the whole night is ridiculous. I'm staying sober. But go somewhere. I don't know where yet. I will find that out when I get home. I told her it better be pretty low key. Like, I'm down. I said, I'm not paying a cover for anywhere. I'm not paying yeah, any. Are. Oh, by the way, Fortnite. Don't care. Wait. <laughs> it's you every... can fly now. Yes, but every hour on the hour, the sky opens up and a ball Why drops. Why are you screaming? <laughs> because I love Fortnite. God. I <laughs> Damn. You're in a great mood today, though. I, I, I know, it. especially for someone who's had to deal with. And I got up at 5:30 a.m. I saw. I like open Alex, my eyes. I see you dabbing. I'm like, Alex, oh. you boys out here drawing. I got. We got so much shit to do before we leave for Tokyo. It's I know. Game. Once this week opens up, like Wednesday or I know, whenever, I'm just sitting around waiting on everybody. So I was <laughs> waiting like, on the and world. 5 a.m. and shit. Like 5, 6 a.m. Nobody's bothering hour. me. There's no fucking distractions. My Twitter's not insane. Like, actually focus on what the fuck I need to get done. So, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna start getting up super early. And I can still stay up pretty late. I stayed up till like 1 30 last night. I see you early on Twitter. I just start trolling. Feel lazy? Feel lazy? Yet? No, what I get on. I start talking about New Year's resolutions. <laughs> He's getting out while it's moving. Okay. Chase, let's see if we can get any, you know, in here, you know, increase on that 30,000. Cool. It's now 2 30. I'm still dealing with this car shit. I burnt a huge hole in my Columbia jacket. Alex is gonna patch it, so I guess it's not a huge deal. That's, today is pretty frustrating, but I'm not gonna get mad.
I also fucked up the nail when I burnt my jacket. So uh, Alex dropped a nail on the carpet the other day. So that one was ruined. And then I just ruined another nail. Both quartz nails. Just Chaz now from cleaning them off. Because... <sighs> Man, it's still snowing. You're on Tesla, dude. play this game with me like if you can finance the car i'll come pay for it today like if you're gonna fuck around and y'all want to play games like i'll pay a certain amount down but i'm not gonna keep like we're not gonna do this all day yeah, exactly. and then finally like the main guy called because i'd called wells far not arguing he was cool but i'm just like dude like we're both yeah. businessmen like this is stupid come pay 16 17 which i can do it's not a big deal you know what i mean like oh, so you're still getting the tesla huh? yeah i'm gonna get it <laughs> that's why I hate you because I've been doing this shit all damn day that's like I'm putting the money towards the car but 26 is just nuts yeah well that's what I'm saying I'm like that just seems fucking stupid I'm showing it was supposed to be delivered at noon yeah and then I've been jumping through all these hoops all day with finance that the final terms are up on your Tesla account to confirm and copied below for your reference oh okay you just got that I, so, yeah. two you minutes of so literally as you called me I guess So I guess uh, Tesla is sending me an Uber. I'm going to get the new whip, Bubba's. them off as you say it. Been different New Year's Eves than others. Ow! People violent. Went to one bar, had a drink and peed so that we could use the bathroom. Have we been there before? Because the lines are out of control everywhere. One hour till the fireworks happen. We are in the streets. We're gonna hit the streets for these fireworks. These Please use revolving door. We went through the other one twice. With just, just three minutes to go. Brand strong. Everything else. Woo! The New Year's resolutions. We're gonna go get these drinks now. 2019. See how people are feeling. Nice. Hold up a camera. You just have to hold up a camera and yell Happy New Year and everyone yells it back. There it is. Happy New Year! Nose right now. That's what's happening. What? It's making it feel better. I bet it is, Stefan <sighs> Michael. All right. So Alex fixed up this patch, or fixed up the hole with the patch. Playboy patch from the 70s. Thankfully, because I really like this jacket. I don't know that there's much of a difference other than the decorations. It could possibly be a little bit warmer, maybe, but not noticeably like crazy or anything. <laughs> to the garage we go. To be honest, my first real car. I've always bought, well that doesn't work, shitty, kind of like, I don't think any of the power works because the thing's charging. But I've always bought like used shitty cars. Like, I don't think I've ever spent over three grand, four grand on a car. I don't think so. So this is like a big deal for me. I've never bought a new car. Only wanted a self-driving car. I fucking got it. So it was that was crazy. Spent a, quite a bit of money, but it was all down payment. Not like throwing money away. So that's good. Uh, yeah, I never thought I would be saying that about a car. Almost my whole life I've felt out of place, like not being able to afford shit like normal stuff. You know, my parents weren't rich and my parents, my parents weren't even like 
well off. Uh, by the time it was time to buy cars and shit, my dad was like replacing like shitty cars because he was a used car salesman, but I felt grateful to have a vehicle growing up at times, but never anything substantial and never anything that I just felt like I could take this and go wherever I want to go or anything like that. So, you know, and I used to feel slighted all the time, not being able to get any kind of car, not being, not having any kind of credit to, even if I did have money and jobs like tattooing, credit so fucked from being super young that I could never get anything anyway. This is like the first time in my life that I've uh, gotten to these accomplished points that I can take care of my family, family and friends and continue to grow and it's really fucking awesome. 2018 has been amazing. I don't like measuring by the years, but everyone else does and like this year has been great. Like we've made a lot of changes. There's been a lot of like frustration and there's definitely been some tears and there's definitely been some broken shit and yelling and regret for sure. Definitely things I wish I hadn't have said this year and done, but also been a lot of growth. I just like, I'm so excited for the future. It's insane. I like finally feel like upswing. It's been great. It's been good. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for the support. People who fuck with the brand, people who rock the clothes. Fucking thank you. It's a fucking dream come true. I'm forever grateful for the opportunity just to like make stuff. I don't really have any resolutions for the year. I don't really do that shit. Uh, I don't really like try to do it every day. I try to res resolve to make strides every single day. So 2019 is just more of that. I like, don't have anything I really want to do to probably fucking exercise more, but I'm snowboarding. Cool. Gucci. Adidas has, uh, this is the new version that they are dropping in February, the actual models. This is the first version of it, which got the Kith treatment, which is smart for them. Uh, people don't really check a lot of stuff out, you know? Shoe companies are gonna have to learn that if fashion will dictate function in some ways, because people will never see how it functions if it looks like shit. This is a good, uh, this is a good marketing scheme. Uh, the retail price on the shoe is $250, which is a little high for a lot of people. I think that the regular models are gonna come out at $200. Um, like I said, those come out in February. A few different colorways I've seen, like regular black, kind of more like, honestly, ACG looking colorway. It's like gray and maroonish. Olive one, it looks pretty nice. And the difference in those, and this one I do believe also, is I think that those have Gore-Tex. I don't think this has Gore-Tex. The shoe is designed in its own way to have Gore-Tex, but th those have the, I don't know if all of the new models will have it. Um, there is an inline in the shoe on the sides where there's basically, where there would be a cage, so to speak. A lot like an uncaged Ultra Boost, there is that. That, that does not feel like Gore-Tex to me, and there's no Gore-Tex branding, but it's possible I could be wrong. Gore-Tex would usually say waterproof, and on Kith, this just said water resistant. Do, you do your own math on that one, I guess. The upper is prime knit. It sort of changes in the toe. You have sort of a tightly woven prime knit. The front of the shoe, it reminds me of, um, what was that shit called? Uh, pure Cut, which is what they put on the A17 Plus. It kind of has that Pure Cut feel. Uh, where is that? Right there. Uh, this is definitely thicker. Like, ooh, there's a thumbnail for you. Damn, dog, I'm fucking flossing. This shoe definitely has a thicker prime knit, but not uncomfortably thick. It's just, a, it's just a little thicker. There's nice padding on the inside of the shoe. The heel has like some of the nicest padding on any boot shoe that I've ever tried on. I thought that these were next level fucking comfortable. Dog. This colorway and shape I really love. This is probably my favorite shoe from last year. This fucking shoe, comfort-wise, is on another fucking level. Just, it just is. There's a lot of cues from the Solar Ultra Boost. A lot of that DNA is in the shoe. Borrowed some of that DNA, which this is kind of new, so I can't really hate on them using it in different ways and seeing where it works. And the comfort on this shoe is fucking unreal. Using and taping pretty much all over the shoe. Black on black, three stripes. You can kind of see this barrier around the shoe. This definitely helps keeping it, keeping your foot dry. Foot didn't get wet in this. I was running around in the snow, I didn't really do rain. My foot definitely didn't get wet, my did get cold. They're not insulated like that. So, and I was wearing pretty thin socks. So you could wear winter socks with it and probably be chill and like fine running around in the snow. I don't wanna go on like a serious like alpine hike, obviously. Like this is like street hike, like some fucking urban hiking shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta hike to the sandwich shop, run through an alley or a fucking little snow field, hike your ass over to the ski lift. You ain't hiking up no mountain, out of no situation. You know what I'm saying? Strictly street hikes. K 
confusing, which at first was my biggest turnoff. Big, extra large branding is not my favorite thing. Do like it on the mountain because it's just, it's hyphy shit. If you don't snowboard or do like motor, it's just like what it is. I didn't understand it either at first. Like snowboard graphics are always so bad because it's just one big word, but it makes sense because motherfuckers are flying through the air and spinning and oh yeah, what kind of board are you riding? And we need to find somebody on the mountain. The big ass logo is the best way. Like, oh, once Ronnie released the lookbook, she saw the sunset photos, the sunrise and the sunsets are kind of some of the best parts of being on the mountain. It's beautiful. So I will tip my hat for that. It's a well thought out theme on a new shoe that if they just released in straight black, people would be like, oh, it's just another black shoe. Black was just a little hint of color that makes sense and none of these colors are bad. Like this is a great color combo. I fuck with it and you can't really read it. If you don't know Kith, you don't know what it says. Which I really do like that. I like that they, um, <clears throat> which I do really like that. And the same thing with the Ultra Boost Undefeated at first, the big lettering turned me off. Ended up being one of my favorite shoes this year. It's kind of seat belt jump off on the back. You don't really notice this. It definitely helps with the lockdown. This is super stretchy. I mean, you can almost get the whole hat brim in that bitch. There is an insole super storm. I think it comes out. Yeah, it comes out. It's a pretty, like I said, Weather taping, kind of all around. Continental rubber trail outsole. Little things like leather pull tabs. It did come with extra laces, but that was days ago. So who fucking knows where those are? Right now. Um, they were purple and black. If you don't know what purple is, that's purple and that's black. Speaking of purple and black, I have no confirmation on this, but given the sunrise sunset theme, the Ultra Boost 1.0 original colorway was based off of dusk. So maybe this colorway being the first iteration and also having sunrise or dusk theme, maybe that's why. I don't know, I'm speculating. Like this is a sock-like upper that fits really well. Once you tie it down, the lockdown is just, is so nice. It really wraps around your foot like a fucking snake, to be honest. It's like a boa constrictor. The lacing system itself, like what it's hold onto is very minimal. It also helps, like everything's just fused and attached. There's not a lot of extra pieces to the shoe. Nice to get away with that. The, nice to get away from that because we've been in a lot of shoes with extra panels and suede and I like this. I've had it on for like days. The comfort on this is next fucking level. Full length boost, you're not gonna feel it like an ultra boost, but you're definitely gonna feel it. And that heel amount of boost is good dog. That's that's some boost. That's a big dog boost. Rubber toe guard, which is the one thing that I was scared of, but don't even notice it. You kind of slid in. You have plenty of room at my true size, but not room like, oh, my toes are jacked. Like perfect. Like they're absolutely perfect at my true size. Could I wear a 12 and a half? Maybe, but I don't want to. Same as always. And I'm actually with my shoe sale, probably gonna get rid of like most of my 12 and a half. So if you know what is in my collection, it's a 12 and a half, you're probably hype if you're a 12 and a half because a lot of that shit's gotta go. A couple of pairs are staying because they were gifts, but a lot of it's gotta go. Um, but yeah, these are sick, man. Like resale, I don't know what it's at. I don't think it's crazy. They are on StockX. Where's the other shoe? The shoes, obviously the lettering goes it's flip-flops or whatever. Resale, I don't know what it is. I can't imagine it's crazy. People haven't gotten their pairs yet because Kith hasn't shipped. So it may go down. I don't know. But I don't know what it's at right now either way. I wouldn't expect a restock and I would expect to see the GR versions from here on out. Maybe you'll get another collab this year. I don't know. Super stoked to have gotten these shout out to Scruff for hitting the streets for me the day after Christmas. I think that's it. I think I covered it all. All right, that's it. Happy New Year, motherfuckers. I'll see you tomorrow. What's the day? The day I let them all have it. I know I've developed more than a habit. Ignoring a few friends, born a little bit backwards. Boring me to death, can't flex with the masses. Passing like fashion, thought it was your passion. Bone the wrong class, now you're coming back. Classic mattress, my last switch. Please don't pass this up for the challenge. Feeling down, done with the acting. Fuck your last name, fame, fast lane status. I've had it up to here, can hear why I'm so spastic. The fear beats the faith, only for a second I rewind myself, leave my soul on the records alone Guess I care less, slow is how I roll it away I won't go, no love for these phonies Got you so bad